Alright, so for the next couple of videos, we're going to be looking at adding UVs to these meshes. And I'll just make like a pile. So this pile over here doesn't have UVs, and then as I go along, I'm just going to add them over to the other pile. Now you can work in conjunction with the scene as the house is concerned, with the house in it, or you can tidy it up by making a brand new scene. I would almost suggest doing that and getting away from the house or the factory okay so to do that uh, we go like this file export selection and I like exporting this over to an OBJ OBJ has uh, a healing property to meshes so if there's anything wrong with these meshes at all the OBJ cleans it up anyway it deletes all history off the objects, everything. So it's a really good way to scrub your meshes. I'll save this and then go to a new scene where there's no materials, no nothing, and I can just go File, Import, and I import pieces into it. And there we go. Six on the keyboard to make them weight shaded. And I'm just going to get it so when I click on it, the x-axis is over on my right-hand side. And let's pull these forward and separate them. Also, I'm just going to highlight them all after I separate them and go Modify Center Pivot. And that will fix the pivot on all these at once. All right, now it's time for some UVs. Again, pile of them not completed and then a pile of them completed. Now I'm going to be jumping in the front a lot, front view. So for this one, um, since it is a little bit more complex than a planar map, uh, I'm going to do automatic mapping and then stitch it back together. UV texture editor. Now I can already see what it is a little bit. I just work on the outside perimeter first and then work my way in. So move and sew. And I'm going to be doing a lot of the same things over and over, but at least you get to see how fast this really goes if you stick to the same workflow. Okay. I'm just moving this off a little bit. Again, I'm working on the outside perimeter, and I don't touch the last two. There we go. That's all laid out. Okay, these other ones are the inside meshes. So this is how I work with this. These get the inside right and left, and these get the inside top and bottom. Okay, so I click here, click here. Again, just like that, and then now I'm going to do the top and bottoms. Okay, good. And I don't know where I'm going to place these yet, so all I do is want to make sure they're on the 0 to 1 for right now. And then I'll come back to them when I get a texture for them. Okay, so there's object 1, all done. See, that easy. Next. Okay, same MO. Uh, anything that has a hole in it, I basically do the Create UVs automatic mapping. And then I go into Window, UV Texture Editor and start stitching it back together. Again, I work for the outside perimeter. Pull that off to the side. And I, I'm holding shift and kind of flicking my mouse to uh, do the marquee selection. Okay, so this is the innards. So I'm going to do this on top and bottom. 
and then I'm going to do this one on the two sides. There we go. So just rotate those. I like to keep these rotated to the point where they are right side up. Again, I'll come back to these when I get a material or a texture for them. Okay, another one with a hole. Let's just take care of all those. Okay, edge. And I did a highlight control right click to shell there. You can also use the shell moving tool. Okay, in the hole, I'll just do those and these. Notice I'm not scaling these at all. I'm just kind of placing them over here. There's an advantage to that, and hopefully it works and pans out. All right, so these two right here. Now these are planar maps, so I can take care of these at the same time. I'll just grab them jump into my front view and do a create planar mapping. Okay, then I'll grab the one on the right and go into UV texture editor. Now, look at this one. It gets squished when I do a planar mapping or if I need it to be a more of a natural fit, I could do automatic mapping and look at it retains the shape of the object. So it saves you a step and that's why I like uh, do, even though it takes an extra few seconds to stitch it all back together, it's uniformly correct. Okay, I can't put those there. Put these here. Again, not resizing it at all, just plopping it in the center. Moving on to the next piece. So I'll probably end up doing automatic mapping just for every one of these. And that one just gets moved up. Okay, two more for that pile. And now you can see how stupid easy this is. But you know what? Students hate UVs with a passion. That one won't highlight. There we go. And if you think that it's in a way, just do it to shell. Get it out of the way. Good. And then I got this inside hole to contend with. And this one over here. Okay. Rotate that. Now it looks like both of these have to fit here. 
So this is rotated. There we go. All right, how about a hard one? Because the other ones are pretty boring. Um, again, create automatic mapping, even for this one. I'll rotate this around. And rotate this one around. W on the keyboard, move that one up. Move this one over here. And the name of this game is just don't overlap and don't stretch out the UVs. So if I see something highlight on the other one, I know I cannot add that one to it. Some of these we're going to have to stretch out because um, they are a triangle. So in other words, this one right here. Now this is going to make a little weird spot in the mesh itself because I did, just did that. So I usually pick the longest one. Okay, that one is that one or that one. So this one has to go up. All right, and this little one has to get off of this. So I, I cut that. I don't have enough room for that one up there. And I generally go like that. Okay. All right, next. Yep, that one fits there just fine. Slight adjustment. Not much. This one fits there just fine, but it has to come off of this. And now just all these little bits. And some bits are going to fit, some bits are not going to fit. Like this, for example, I can't move this here because it'll be overlapping and I can't move it over here it's overlapping but what about here no so what about here no okay so I'm gonna have to move it here and then just kind of fix that and to do that I make a compromise between the two Okay, don't like that one, so I end up cutting it. Again, slight movement. Now I'm running out of time for this video, so what I'm going to do is finish this one up and then we'll meet back in the next video. The game is almost done. That one does not have, oh, there we go. That one's good. Okay. So UV, W on the keyboard, get that one over here, get that one over here, and I'll meet you in the next video.